Cortex is a GPU mineable coin AI on blockchain. So the first thing you are gonna need in order to mine Cortex, just like any other coin, is a wallet. So coming into the Cortex website here, which is cortexlabs.ai, we're gonna come into tools and resources, and you can see Cortex wallet right here. Simply click on that, and now you're gonna see different Cortex wallets. Start using for free, scroll on down, you can see you can download it for iOS, you can get Google Play, so Android, uh, iPhones here, and as well, download for Chrome. This is a web based wallet and if you want to add this to metamask you can see all the custom parameters down in here so we're going to download this for our browser i'm just going to download for chrome here and yep we're going to save that right here that's weird usually you should have a thing to do but that's it we're just gonna do it this way so we're going to download this open it up it is a zip file here so we're going to extract all here extract and then now we can see Cortex Wallet 1.0 and all the stuff here that we need to do. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to install this wallet. So if I come into my Brave browser here, you can see I have a Cortex Wallet. I'm actually gonna remove this so you don't think I already had it and it doesn't work for me or something. So I'm gonna remove from Brave, remove Cortex Wallet. And you can see I no longer have a Cortex Wallet. I'm gonna close this So, So now we're gonna come into my extensions here. I turned on developer mode, it's simple toggle it like so. And now I'm gonna come in and load unpack. So we're gonna load unpacked here navigate to your cortex wallet you can see right here if i go into it it doesn't have all the files but it has the folders here we want to go back one and just load the main cortex 1.1.0 wallet select that folder like so and now it'll bring us to home but if we open it up here we can see our cortex wallet is now here so to continue on here just set up a wallet like you normally would get your seed phrase everything you need to do and once you go through adding your password and accepting all the terms and things like that you will get to this point right here and here you can see this is your wallet address that you will be mining to simply click on that copied now we can get mining let's find our miner all right so to mine cortex first we got to find our miner and for this case we're going to be using g miner it's been a while since i used g miner it's used on a lot of coins here but there's regal miner that really dominates most of the coins but it doesn't support cortex so we will be utilizing Gminer and starting our Windows tutorial. Head on over to their GitHub and download the latest version of 3.44 for either Windows or Linux here. In this case, obviously, we'll be starting with Windows. All right, so once you do get that downloaded and extracted, scroll through all the bad files here until you do see Mine Cortex. So simply select that one, right click and edit it. Windows is gonna do its Windows things that it usually does. Make sure you do run anyway. And now we're gonna adjust all our parameters. So server, this is gonna be our pool here. So we wanna remove this right here. Come into our mining pool, which is Hero Miners and the sponsor of today's video. Choose the closest stratum that's to wherever you're located. For me, even though I'm located in Canada, I am going with Western USA. I do have a lower latency here. So I'm gonna right click copy this line right here which is the stratum as well as your port right here bring up our miner again and simply paste that in right here make sure you do have a space between these two right here because if they're together it's not going to work for you and same between every other individual one make sure you always have one space in between now we can see our dash dash user here this is your wallet address so this is the where your coins are going to be sent to from mining rewards and obviously don't use anyone else's don't use the default use your own wallet address so come back into your wallet here copy your wallet address like we showed you earlier and then bring that back up and simply paste it in like so now you're going to need a worker name put a period here and i'm just going to go rabid ws for rabid workstation and then simply file save your bat file is complete all right so now before i begin mining i'm going to want to set some overclock settings because running your gpu on default is going to burn a crap ton of power so coming into hashrate.no it is looking like this is a core based coin it's not needing any memory correct me if i'm wrong down in the comment section i'm just going off hashrate.no right now so if you use some memory gain a little extra hash rate let me know but keep in mind if you use a little memory it might not do anything on the algorithm and hash rate side 
but it may actually increase your power because you're using other parts of the GPU and memory does use quite a bit of power. So keep that in mind, if you're using something like 5001 or higher, then you are gonna be using more power and obviously you wanna run as efficient as you can. In this case, hashrate.no is telling us this is a core based coin, so you could possibly even dual mine it with a different memory based coin, which if you wanna know how to do that, we'll look at you know some other time here. But keeping in mind, here we have 2610. So I'm gonna bring up my LOL miner here. So LOL miner GUI right here, run this as an admin. You can get this in just your standard LOL miner, just download it, find the GUI and do it. So I'm gonna go core clock offset and I'm not gonna set any memory whatsoever. So I'm gonna go 2400 in this case, it's saying 2410. Then I'm gonna go a 300 offset. So what an offset does do is once you lock your memory, this is like lowering your voltages. You can do 25, 50, 100, 150, 200, whatever, 300, I think is the highest. You could try higher if you want. Some GPUs might not like too high and you have to drop it a bit. But the point here is this is lowering your power usage on your core because you're slowly dropping the voltages, kind of like when you're overclocking AMD GPUs, if this helps you out and you're kind of unfamiliar on how the core offset works. So I'm just gonna apply these OCs like this. I'm gonna bring up my afterburner just to see, and we can see 2400. This will bounce around until we do mine. This is our memory side here but this is my overclock settings now let's get mining so now it's just a simple double click on that bat file we did make it's gonna say a whole bunch of crazy stuff fail to initialize miner on gpu one gigabyte amd so that is my integrated graphics ignore that we're not using it uh then it's telling us there's something but our cpu is being verified so we're we using cpus also this is crazy crazy stuff going on here but we can see our 4090 is doing things i want to bring up this just to see if we are using anything no we're not using any parts of the cpu whatsoever here this is a gpu coin but it was interesting that that came up so here we can see we are mining away we're getting some hash rates we're going to go in and check our pool once we do see an accepted share you do have to send at least one accepted share in order to be detected at the pool all right so in order to check everything out at the pool obviously come into hero miners dashboard right here scroll on down and paste your wallet address in your stats and payment history click the look up button and then wait for it to do its loading process here my computer is kind of freezing a little bit on me now and there we go and we can see we are detected we're finding shares we're hashing away it'll take a little bit of time maybe an hour to finally get the full hash rate and obviously you're going to need at least 24 hours to see your full average hash rate at the pool but we can see we are detected so everything is set up and fine let's move on over to hive os and show you how to set that up all right so here we are in hive os and the first thing you're going to need to do is set up your wallet so we're going to come into the wallets tab up here let it load and then click on add wallet and now we're going to simply come in and click on our cortex wallet again and copy that address over type coin and ticker we're going to go ct and it popped up right here ctxc paste our wallet address in and for this i'm just going to go test video so test video wallet which i showed you how to set up there and then create that wallet next up we're going to come into our flight sheets here let that load. Now we're going to go CT and it should pop up. CTXC, select our wallet, test video wallet here. Select our pool. Hero Miners is in by default, making this much, much easier than Windows. Simply click on that. Come in and pick the closest stratum for you. Again, for me, USA West is the lowest latency. Hit apply. And for our miner, we're going to be utilizing G Miner. You can see there's other miners available, but G Miner and LOL Miner both support NVIDIA as well as AMD. So maybe try both out. LOL Miner might get a little bit better hash rates, might not. I do enjoy out using LOL Miner whenever I can. But for this case, we're going to be using G Miner. And now I'm going to set this up as uh, Cortex Test Video Hero Miners. That's my flight sheet name. I just want to come in and make sure everything is correct here. We can see wallet.worker name, URL host. Yes, it's pulling everything it needs to pull from HiveOS itself. Nothing needs to be set here. So everything's looking pretty good. We're going to create that flight sheet now. And then before I do this, I do want to adjust my overclocks and pick a rig. So in my case, I'm going to go with this rig right here, which is an RTX 3070. So I'm just going to remove this Warthog flight sheet here unset this one 
Now let's go back into overview here. But well, on sets here, check our overclock settings. So I do want to drop that memory here. I want to get rid of that uh, memory clock lock. Actually, if something doesn't really require memory, you can drop it really low to something like 810. This hardly uses any memory. That's probably even better than zero and save you a bit more power. Again, only if this is really 100% core base. Read the comments down below as everyone's supposed to be letting us know. Memory or no memory. Hashrate.no shows this is a core base coin so i'm locking my core at 1410 here and i'm setting an offset at 300 let's apply those changes here for that gpu and now we're going to come into my flight sheet here and then select the flight sheet we just made which will be if you have any favorited your latest flight sheet you just make will be on top right underneath your last favorited flight sheet and then we're just going to simply hit the rocket ship wait a few minutes and send this to the moon so let's just wait a few minutes here Wallace engages and check the pool out. All right, so I just SSH'd into my rig right quick just to take a look at the miners, see if everything is working right. And we can see we're slowly starting to gain some hash rates at 0 0.58 Gs per second, graphs per second. I think this is what this goes under. Uh, we're getting new jobs. Everything's looking good. I'm going to jump into the pool just to see if we are detected or not yet. We should have. Uh, we don't have any shares yet, so the pool won't detect us. We do actually have to wait for those actual shares. So I'm gonna wait a little bit longer here. All right, so I did find a couple shares and you can see now that both rigs are detected. Our workstation is now up to over six graphs or whatever G does stand for in this case. And rig 37 is slowly starting to ramp up. So 